Hello guys, we've got the Turbine 4S. Blue Dio's attempt to correct Turbine 4th original. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> To get an update on all the awesome tech we review, hit the subscribe button. Blue Dio T4S has got the similar packaging, just that on the main cover it has Supreme written just below the T4. Rest all the box remains intact, in fact the carving on the hardboard box are the exact same. Let's now get to the unboxing part. From the inside, this box remains exact same. Although this video shows a little insight of the features, but you may click on the top right button to check on the full video on Turbine 4th. My initial impressions are exactly the same as T4. These have this shiny look. Inside we have got this accessory box. Below that we have got the user manual. Blue Dio wanted to correct the issues of T4 that is the lag in audio and button response. Inside we have this similar kind of packaging, we've got the silk pouch, that's it, the same functionality. Next we've got this USB type C charging cable and next we have got this aux connectivity which goes USB type C into your headphone. I won't be talking about features but my final impressions on this one. Blue Dio has made an awesome attempt to correct all the issues with T4 but this one also doesn't feel right. Don't get me wrong, these headphones are great, they sound good, powerful bass, battery output is awesome, they stick to your head. It's just that with T3, the sound quality or rather I should say the bass performance was way stronger. The output of T3 at 6 points of volume is equivalent to the 8 points we get in T4 or T4S, so you know the difference. You know it inside that you are not going to touch the last end but it just always feels good to have it as a backup. Similar way when you charge your phone up to 100% in spite of knowing that you would be using only 50% in the whole day. I would definitely recommend these headphones to you at these, this price range. These headphones are awesome and in fact Skullcandy uproar don't go competitive when we talk about them. If you are looking for premium looks with lightweight and great performance, these are definitely your pick. T3 is on a little heavier side but I don't mind it because they provide awesome bass against it. You can even wait for a turbine 5th generation or in fact consider Blue Dio Air Doodle. Anyways this would be it for this review. If you have any questions put them down below. Feel free to subscribe and I'll be catching you in the next one. Bye bye.